good morning this is kasturi de today i am going to uh, explain this uh, uh, this chapter the matter chapter according to ice syllabus class 8 i'll start with the explanation of heat conduction on kinetic model of matter okay so the mode of transmission of heat energy from one atom to another atom in the direction of lower temperature without the actual movement of the atoms from their moon position is known as conduction so what happens in this case that the transmission of heat the heat is transmitted heat is transferred from one atom to one, another atom it moves on from one atom to another atom it gets transferred in a way where there is in in a way in such that there uh, the direction will be uh, the from the hot area to the cool area that is where the temperature is low the uh, this transmission of heat will be from the place where the temperature is more to the place where the temperature is less so in that way in that direction the uh temperature uh, that means the heat will get transferred from one atom to another this uh, way of without the actual movement of the atoms that is atoms will not move from their place but they are transferring the heat from one atom to another okay so in this way what happens the heat gets transferred the, this transmission of heat this mode of transmission of heat is known as conduction so uh, see uh, the from the example from the picture you can see that uh, the molecules uh, think that these blue colored dots they are the um, uh, atoms of the solid of a solid substance now this uh, you can say the uh, said so the atoms of a matter okay and this uh, the it has been heated by the bunsen burner or candle you can say okay and this the atoms which are close to the burner that gets heated and they transfer the heat to the play they are transferring the heat from one atom to another till they reach the coolest place okay so uh, from the uh, left hand side it is getting transferred that is from the left hand side there is the candle no the burner is on the left hand side so the uh, heat is getting getting transferred from the left hand side uh, of the matter or object to the right hand side where the temperature where the heat uh, where the uh, atoms are the cool position at low temperature position okay now this is explained by the kinetic model what happens a solid is heated from one end in fire its atoms gain heat energy okay when it is heated by the fire the atoms are gaining the heat energy this increases their kinetic energy the kinetic energy of the atoms get increased due to the absorption of the heat energy from the burner now so they vibrate about their mean position with more amplitude so from in their in their mean position only in their position only they are vibrating about their mean position with a greater amplitude now these energetic atoms strike against the neighboring atoms in doing uh, this vibrations they strike against the neighboring atom transferring the kinetic energy to the next to the uh, neighboring atom okay in this way the temperature of the conductor rises hence the heat energy is transmitted by conduction without the actual visible movement of the atoms okay understood next we come to the explanation of heat convection on kinetic model of matter so convection is a phenomenon due to which the particles of a medium actually move towards the source of the heat energy and absorbing the heat energy they move away from it and thereby making the space uh, for other particles for the cool particles to come into that medium of the medium to move towards the source of the heat okay it moves like a circle okay see from the lower picture second picture you can see that it moves like a circle okay so there's a convection current form okay now what happens see the uh, you take a liquid in a uh, 
vessel okay and you heat that vessel from below so the below particles the lower particles of the liquid get heated get heated okay so what happens when they get heated they uh, these particles gain more kinetic energy you know that liquid molecules liquid particles they have more kinetic energy than the solid particles so when they are heated when these liquid particles are heated they gain more kinetic energy they rise up okay they rise up they create a space uh, in the lower part lower uh, portion of the liquid now at that time the upper particles which were cool enough than the lower one they come down uh, in the form of a half circle they come down okay take the space of the particles which left the lower portion okay now these particles while uh, come, when they come to the lower portion where the heat is being uh, transmitted so uh, that particle that portion again gets heated they again rise up and again the cooler particles from the above they and the sides they come again they take the place so in this way they form a circle and a current is formed see now this is explained on the basis of kinetic model a liquid is a vessel in a vessel it's heated from the base of the vessel then the particles of the liquid in the region of the heat source absorb the heat energy then the kinetic energy of the particle increases so they move more vigorously okay they move away from the source of the heat that is they rise upward and due to the this pressure due to this pressure falls okay when they rise up okay the pressure uh, uh, which was at, at the down they that pressure fill okay to you could equalize the pressure what happens the this uh, the there is vacuum created so the pressure has been that has come to uh, has come uh, has come down okay so what happens the to equalize the pressure the particles of the liquid from the colder region they sink down they move towards the source of the heat and in turn there is a convection current formed okay so understood this question next we come to the change of the state we know there are three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas now the one uh, the change of one state to another that is from solid to liquid or liquid to gas or solid to gas or solid to uh, liquid or liquid to uh, gas so that change of the state is known as uh, the process in which this uh, change takes place from one state to another by absorbing or releasing of heat at constant temperature okay the while changing this uh, state the temperature does not rise that's most uh, that is an important thing to note okay so during the change of the state there is no change in temperature there is no rise or fall in temperature so they absorb heat or they reject it by while changing the state of the matter okay so this process of change is known as change of state now the change of state into solid or vice versa that is solid to change of the state solid to liquid or liquid to solid then when a solid is heated it changes into its liquid at a fixed temperature that is known as melting or fusion this process that is uh, here, when the solid is heated it changes to liquid that is known as that process is known as melting or fusion for example ice that's a solid which melts at uh, at 0 degree centigrade to form water that is a liquid again at 0 degree centigrade temperature there's no change in the temperature okay by absorbing heat it absorbs heat that ice absorbs heat and changes into water changes its state from solid to liquid without any change of temperature only they absorb heat okay so again when the liquid is cooled that is water is cooled it changes into solid at that same fixed temperature again the uh, temperature does not change but the change of state takes place here they reject heat when liquid changes into solid it rejects heat to come back to the same state to come back to the solid state like water which is a liquid at 0 degree centigrade freezes to form ice at 0 degree centigrade by releasing heat 
okay next this change can be uh, explained on the basis of kinetic theories when a solid is heated its molecules absorb the heat energy that is uh, and the kinetic energy of the molecule is increased it's absorbing the heat the ice is absorbing the heat the water molecules that is uh, the ice molecules the uh, that is uh, get, gaining kinetic energy and started moving uh, vigorously it's move starts vibrating vigorously and in doing so it uh, increases it's a force of attraction uh, is uh, uh, decreases and increases the intermolecular space okay and this way it becomes fluid that is it becomes liquid the molecule starts vibrating about the mean position with greater with greater amplitude the intermolecular spaces increase the intermolecular forces weaken this continues till the state when the kinetic energy of the molecules become more than the intermolecular forces so this continues that is intermolecular forces weaken intermolecular spaces become more so this continues till the all the, the kinetic energy of the all the molecules of the ice that becomes more than the intermolecular forces okay then the molecules start interchanging their positions and solid changes into liquid okay so uh, this is the uh, at this stage what happened temperature does not change no so at this stage the heat energy is absorbed by the molecules in uh, working against the force of attraction so the separation between the molecules increases this phenomena reverses when the liquid is cooled okay so what happens the heat which is absorbed by the ice that heat is utilized in overcoming the forces of attraction of overcoming the forces of attraction and increasing their separation okay so in that case the for the heat which is absorbed by the ice changes the uh, solid to liquid this total process reverses back in uh, when the solid when the liquid is cooled okay that is they uh, uh, release the heat energy and what happens there uh, while releasing the heat energy the molecules lose their kinetic energy intermolecular forces of attraction they become more okay till all the particles all the molecule uh, molecules they all change into that is uh, the uh, intermolecular force of attraction becomes more than the kinetic energy of all the molecules still this happens and the solid uh, and the liquid changes into solid okay so i stop here i continue with the uh, rest of the uh, chapter in my next video please go through this if you have any doubt please do write in the comment box and if you like the video press the like button and share with your friends so that they can also be benefited from the videos okay and if you are a new viewer to my channel or not subscribed yet please do subscribe to get the notification of my next video thank you